The Swiss know how to make army knives and also bayonets. It finds I got three different bayonets, all from different eras, in today. And we'll go over those. Two of these are from countries who made their own bayonets. And this particular one was made in Germany for a different country. Now, when looking at bayonets, the value is going to depend on, of course, the condition. But the first question anyone's going to ask, does it have the scabbard? That's the sheath here. You can see the, these two are metal. This one is more of a plastic. And that's going to be one of the most important things they have. The older ones had a little ball on the end. This one does not. I don't know if that's better or not. But, and they're also going to ask, this is the leather piece that you attach so you could carry this. All three of these have these. They all seem to be in um, leather. This is probably the best leather out of all of them. These are called frogs. I don't know why they're called frogs, but this is the frog, the scabbard, and of course the bayonets themselves. Now let's look at each, each bayonet. This bayonet is probably one of the newest ones, and it's in the best condition. This is from Switzerland. This is for the Swiss Army. This was made for the SIG 57, the rifle there. And you can see where you would attach here and here. And the bayonet, it does have some markings on it, but it's still shiny. It is made by the Victoronics and Wanger Company, which is the one that makes the Swiss Army knives. Which they so they make toothpicks, tweezers, little tiny scissors, and bayonets. You can see the markings there, and the serial number will give you a better idea of um, when it was um, when it was made. Um, this is plastic. This would also be plastic here. So you put it in there. Um, this this particular frog it might help with dating with this. This is from the J. Schmidley um, Company out of Zurich. And you can see there, and it says Sadler. Sadler. Sadler is an occupational name, who's someone who works with leather. So it's just an occupational name. So it's a leather. They make bags. They make all kinds of cool stuff. Um, the Swiss are very good at making watches, making little knives, teeny tiny scissors. And, of course, they know how to stay out of war. Switzerland was neutral in World War I and World War II. Um, they were too busy skiing. I, I, I don't know. They have not been in a war since 1815. 1815. They invaded France after the Battle of Waterloo. So, of course they invaded France. That's what you do when you start wars in, in Europe. But they, they have stayed out of war for over 200 years. But they make great stuff. They make great watches. And their bank accounts are pretty cool too from what I hear I don't have one they're too much money but that is in great condition um, there there are people trying to get around you know 75 to a hundred dollars for this particular one but this is cool it's 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 a newer one it's in great shape looks good the frog has a little chew mark probably from one of those st. Bernards up in the Alps now this one this one is also from a country that has stayed out of war for a long long time this is this is Swedish it's Swedish you don't think of the Swedes and fighting and bayonets but this is Swedish it's for a a Mauser this is model 1896 this is probably these two are probably the oldest um, they stopped making this particular model in 1912 see it has a metal scabbard as the frog is good. It doesn't have a marking on it. Now, what you also want to look for is there's numbers there. There's the numbers there, and they don't match the numbers here, which is not uncommon, but they, they would match at one time. Um, this particular bayonet used to come into pieces, and you would have to assemble it. Inside there, it's hollow. You would take this, put that on there, get a long screwdriver, and tighten it up. It's nice and tight. You can see the different style it has here how it would attach you've got that there i'm not sure what that thing is for um this there's the maker the maker it has the the ej and the ab i looked up that word it is so long i think you have to be a swedish national to actually pronounce it um there is 
I thought it was 084, so it's a three number serial number. Um, that doesn't mean there's a, this is 84 of all of them that were made. The serial numbers for this particular bayonet were three digit. When they hit 999, eh, let's just start over. So this is 084, but I, there could be thousands, thousands. This is metal. You can see the other one's plastic. This is metal. It's got some... These, all these things are made to hurt whomever you are using this on. So that's it. Sweden. Sweden, not as long as Switzerland, but only by one year. They haven't been in a war since 1814. Wait, that's wait. No, 1814, 1815. Sorry, Sweden. So they, they have done a great job of staying out of wars over there. I don't know what the Scandinavians are doing, but they are. They are. They're good at staying out of war and making cool stuff. Now, this last one here is is interesting because it's probably around the, the World War I area. You can see the wood here, the metal. It's, it's got a little more wear. This is model 1895. This is a German maker. A German maker. Um, you can see that everything looks good here. This is broken off a little bit. And the, this is the same metal um, scabbard. And it's, it's, it's hard to read some of these things because they're so old. But it's it, it says Solagen at the bottom there. And it's the y, y Burger, And it's, it's a long name too. Um, German maker. So Germans always, they, they make great weapons. They always have. They, the Germans, Germans know what they're doing. And you can see there. And then on this side, you will there's a, a, two stamps. One of the stamps is a shield with a star in it. The shield with the star in it is actually the import mark for the Chilean army. So the Germans made this. It was probably a contract, probably a little bit before World War II, um, could be after, for the Chilean army. Chile. They did not stay out of World War II. Um, they really hadn't had a war since 1931. There's a lot of internal strife down there in South America. They didn't declare war on Germany until 1943. When, of course, the U.S., 41, um, the rest of Europe, basically 1939. And they also did declare war on Japan in 1945 they waited well, they, they picked the right side so they they are technically a combatant in world war ii because they did declare war sweden they never declare war the swiss they're just busy counting their money anyway all three of these are very collectible which is the most collectible well this one is the newest one so that is not as collectible i've seen these go for about 100 bucks 129 dollars you know, they're some of the newer conditions. If you know, you could probably find them cheaper. You know, you probably get at least fifty bucks for that. Um, actually, this one isn't as collectible, even though it's probably older, just because of who it was made for. Because the, there's not a lot of collectors of Chilean military items. They really weren't involved. I mean, when you, in a lot of conflicts that people would know and people would want to collect. But they, it is a German maker. That's where they got there. Everything looks good here. Um, this one's probably the worth the most. Um, just because of its age. And its unique design. Um, now this one has a little rust on it. This is all metal. This is all metal. And that was used there. And that's the Swedish one. So out of all three of these. You, know, you really have to find the collector. But you know military items. Whether they're haven't been in a war in 200 years or just got in at the last minute bayonets are always cool they're always collectible always knives um person who brought these in um just said they've been collecting them they didn't know what they were but they are cool so i really appreciate you watching thanks if you would share it one time if i got anything wrong in here I know these are hard to look up because of the different makers and i want to get everything right if you could share it one time Subscribe if you want to, leave a comment, thanks for watching, see ya.